It is scientific September. And I thought that it was a good idea to dip my toe into the science fiction genre. Scientific September was created by Tesh over at Tesh's library. And in the whole of the month of September we read not only science fiction but also science books. But I chose a science fiction book. I tried to read science fiction back into the 90s and uh, I couldn't get past the world building bit. So I probably picked uh, the wrong book to start my science fiction journey with. So I thought let's give science fiction a second chance. So I read Transfinite Man by Colin Kapp. The Dutch title is Dalra and the Black Knight and I think the English title is a better one as our hero Dalra uh, doesn't only have to deal with the Black Knights but also with other enemies and he doesn't know if the Black Knights are his friends or his enemies and you have to read the story to find out. Anyway, uh, Transfinite uh, is a better title because Transfinite is the world uh, where uh, Dalwa uh, ends up into. So he visits uh, different worlds, the Transf Transfinite uh, world. So the story is about a big building and in this building there are different worlds, the Transfinite uh, layers. And uh, three investigators disappear in this building. And Dalwa, as he is a private investigator, he has to find out where these people uh, went to and why they didn't come back. Are they murdered or what happened to them? So during this journey uh, he also finds out that there is something wrong with him. So it's not only an investigation but also a journey to find out who he really is and what has happened to him. And uh, it's really an exciting uh, story. This story was written in 1964. So the beginning, it, the, the adventure takes place in the future. But in the beginning, and there uh, is this big building, of course, this huge building. But there are also some steampunk elements or steampunk like elements like there uh, are on the one hand uh, air taxis and ground taxis and there are fancy uh, science fiction guns but there are also tape recorders you know the old-fashioned ones with tapes <laughs> and there are telephone cells and people telephone with each other so he cuts the cables so they can't communicate with each other so that's a bit oh i think it's fun and there is a blind man who has better radar boxes on his shoulders so what are those there's not really uh, detailed explained what that is so is it a box on his shoulders that bleeps or uh, what is it <laughs> is it the box with bats in it <laughs> who gives signals to this blind man I don't know but I think it's quite fun <laughs> anyway there is also some explanation happening about the transfinite worlds which is a bit scientific uh, but I don't understand it and neither does our hero understand this so that's not a problem and it's only a page so it doesn't hold up the story very long then there is the real science fiction part of this book 
uh, well, uh, when he comes into the transfinite uh, world in this building. So that's really uh, sometimes a really absurd and there's mathematics, but uh, it's a fast paced and we see our hero struggle with uh, the question what's happening to him and it's the world building is really really excellent and he has to find out what happened to him and why it's happening to him and the story is very fast paced so it's really uh, thrilling to uh, find out what happens to him and his character is also very well developed so that's really good and entertaining but the other characters are less developed but that's also because our hero doesn't know uh, who are his friends and who are his enemies and why they do things he doesn't know so he also has to find out and we join him on his journey through this uh, dangerous voyage so i really enjoyed myself tremendously with this book the prose is also very excellent so i can highly recommend transfer night man by colin cap well hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching